Hello guys, the DB Grinder here back at again with another video, and this time it's Carmino with 1,803 rating versus Aaron McLennan's with 293 rating. Uh, but this is going to be LCS round two, so it's going to be a tourney match, and the LCS is just luxury YCS. And let's just hop right in. So we're going to see Aaron win the rock paper scissors shoot. He's going to decide if he wants to go first or second. 42 versus 40. And he decides to go second. The opening hand is Valor, Mystic, Mind, Widow, Valor, Widow. Yeah, this hand is terrible. He has no way to ray. Um, he's going to have to set Widows and pass. And he has Conductor, Arch, Imperm, Droplets. And okay, so they changed these guys' names. Um, all right, all right, all right. Uh, weird name, weird name. But he's playing Dragma Dino and he's playing Striker. And then he's gonna draw the Nightend. This is uh, Vir Virtuous. Oh man, I gotta learn all these cards' names again. I should have just learned the TCG name and not the OCG name. But he's going to set Imperm Pass. Um, That's fair. He kind of knows what he's going up against. Or he would have like normal this and grabbed the trap. But he doesn't want to get hit with Mystic Mine. Passes, draws max. That's strange. I don't think this card was main deck worthy. For the LCS, for the Dino build at least, um, for like the Invoked build, I kind of understand, because you don't have like too many ways of like winning, uh, to where like the Dino build can like win pretty quickly. Uh, but this card, like, I don't know, it sucks right now, cause everyone's playing uh, either stuff in their extra deck that's good to send off this. Uh, or they're just playing like, or just like in a mirror match. Uh, draw jamming. He's gonna jamming waves, pop the imperm. Pass his turn, draws lost world, activate lost world, normal summon arch. Arch lost world, and he's gonna chain Valor. Gets rid of arch for Link Karibo. Gets her to Link Karibo for Secure Garden, uh, Special Out, the Dragma, I, I swear I'm gonna learn these cards names, um, I forgot that they were getting updated on DB since they're officially out on TCG now, uh, he's gonna Secure Garden, a Beat Over Token, Lost World Save, Destroy Baby, Baby Bring Out OV Raptor, OV Raptor, Add Misk, And he's choosing to leave the token up. Um, he's going to overlay into Tornado. Um, was this stopped? Hold on. I don't remember that being negated. Or did he just not activate it? Ah, he didn't activate it. Alright, fair enough. He's going to Tornado Pop Widow. Uh, only the second effect cuts you off, I'm pretty sure, right? Um, yep. Now in Special Summon out Max. And then he's going to use Max Effect since Elder and Omega. To send Omega and Hita. And then Elder pop the back row. And then Omega effect to shuffle back. Probably his Omega. Because uh, if he doesn't... Well, let's see. Like, the Omega being in Grave makes it so he can't leave, like, a Misk in Grave. Or he just shuffles it back. But he's just going to go for a spell. So he's not going to get Misk and Grave. Pass his turn. He draws three mines altogether. 
Activate Mystic Mind, Tornado Pop. Activate Mystic Mind. This can't be linked away. Um, he's going to have to Tribute Summon. Draws a uh, Nattier Servant. Activates a. Uh, He's going to send Fossil Knight. Um, so this card pretty much is just being used because you can banish it from the graveyard at any point to target one monster on field and destroy it. So he's going to send that. And then add the starter. Tribute to for that. And then Link in the Phoenix. So he's not linking in the Phoenix. Um, oh, because he used, he used Servant, so he can't go into the extra deck. Draws Rota. And then uses Rota, grabs Ray. Normal out Ray. Make Hayate. Poke for a thousand. Uh, gang 500 because of Lost World. Send Afterburners. Main Phase 2, make Kagari. Add back. Um, he doesn't even have Heated to go into. He could go into Zeki. Add Afterburners. We just banish itself. He's going to Forbidden Droplets, negate that, Afterburners, Pop, Zeki, and Lost World, pass turn, draws Pill, passes turn, draws Ash, pass turn, draws Servant, he's not going to have an out, draws Upstart, uses it, draws Lightning Storm, honestly, I would just sit on this Mystic Mind for the rest of the game. Because you, like, know that your opponent's not main decking Cosmic. Draws area zero, passes, draws droplets. Sets servant, draws gamma. Eventually, there's a chance that we're just going to see the scoop. If we see him say, like, hey, I'm not going to put a monster on board. Oh, wait, no, he could Lost World. That is right. Draws Ray. Set Shark passes, draws OV, discards it pass, draws Lightning Storm, set it pass, terraforming. There's his way to Lost World. And then activates Lost World, summons OV, Lost World, give token. Make Phoenix, Phoenix effect, pop mine, he can't Valor because of Lost World. Uh, Misc effect for four. That's going to bring out Misc. Uh, he's already gone through all three OVs. The deck doesn't play Giant Rex. Uh, special out this, and he's gonna get... Oh, he might not go for that effect if he has Tornado in the extra deck still. Uh, he can't go for Logia with the Spellcaster. No, those are in the wrong zones, but I don't think the zone placement's really gonna matter. He's going to banish, try popping token, does pop token, lets it go through, summon conductor by banishing two, and then activate pill, banish two more, that's going to get hit with ash. Attack for a thousand, attack for eighteen. Attack for 14, Shark Cannon, um, alright, yeah, then he couldn't attack over because this can't be destroyed by anything from the extra deck, 
For a second, I thought he was about to, like, summon this and trigger its effect. I was like, no way is he playing Dogma stuff and Striker. Um, and he's going to pass turn, draws Hornet Drones, and he has Lightning Storm. Lightning Storm on Monsters, he's going to Misk Effect to protect. Activate Area 0, Normal Summon Ray, Area 0 Ray. Brings out Kagari. He's going to get Afterburners off of that. Misk is only for this main phase. So Afterburners in main phase 2 is going to be really good here. And then honestly, like one, he's one Shark Cannon away from losing everything. You know, Forbidden Droplets just to wait, why didn't it oh so he's negating the Kagari with Forbidden Droplets. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh he's attacking can that that's kinda oh okay, never mind. He's attacking direct. I was like it's kinda weird to attack conductor here. Sunday area zero. And then he's gonna afterburners pop conductor. And then we're gonna see him admit defeat. He has nothing he had misk engrave, but I mean he really had nothing there. So now game two, we're gonna see Aaron let Striker go first again. Opening hand is Hornet, Valor, Afterburners, Desires, Ice Dragons, Prison. So this card is uh it's shown to be a cool tech during the tournament. Uh, at the time of this recording, day two hasn't started yet for the LCS, but I've seen this card multiple times while going over matches. It's a pretty cool card. And then he has Arch, Lightning Storm, Maximus, Pill, Extravagance, Activates Desires, Banish 10, Draws Rose and Crow, Activate Hornet, Bring Out Token, and he banished Multi Roll. Out of uh, the main deck with Desires. Makes Kagari. Kagari add back Horna. Gets rid of Kagari for Shiz. It's going to set the Ice Dragon's Prison. And then end phase Shiz effect. Add Widow. Pass turn. Draws Pelt. So he's going he's gonna to start off with Extravagance. Bro, I just can't talk right now. I don't know why. It's not even that early. Draws Conductor and Arch. And that's good, because uh, the Conductor, if everything gets stopped, he'll have Conductor, Pill Conductor, lots of Conductors. He's just going to end phase, discard, Arch, and pass. So, like, what is he trying to play around here? Um, he assumes that there's a lot of hand traps or something. I don't know. I feel like it could have been worth trying to, like, at least summon Maximus and use Maximus effect. Because this card's nuts. Uh, makes Hayate. Attack for 15. Uses the effect, sends Ray. Gets rid of Hayate for Shiz. Set Widow. Set Horna, end phase, Shiz. Add Afterburners. Passes turn, draws Misk. That's a very good draw. Lightning Storm on the back row. He's going to chain prison to summon arch. And then he's going to normal summon arch. Arch effect. He's going to veil. He's going to chain misc. 
adds pill, and then pet, bring out oviraptor, and then oviraptor, add misc. So now it's even playing, like, through crow. Because if he crows misc right here, he just drops another... Uh, links in the link Kribo and secure garden uh, banishes link Kribo summon out max and this card let's see he didn't nah he didn't hit his omega so he can omega shuffle back ray into the deck and that'll be huge. He's going to send Omega and Skull Knight. And he's going to have a pop. And then he's going to send Omega. And Hito. And then Skull Knight. Or he's going to Omega shuffle back Ray first. Then banish two to summon out conductor. Misk to set arch. Activates pill. Banishes two. Brings out conductor. Yeah, this is a uh, yeah, that's game. Uh, that that Omega play was kind of. Like crazy too, like being able to send Omega and then shuffle back the opponent's ray. But now we're moving on to game three. And game three, we're gonna see Dino go first. Opening hand is Valor, Afterburners, Desires, Ray, Shark Cannon. So this isn't bad. He has one hand trap, and then he has Judgment, Baby, Knight, OV, Punishment. I think punishment is crazy like even though it's a trap card um, it can be a double pop it can be a pop and then back into your engine a couple things that it can do it's gonna set judgment set punishment pass turn doesn't want to play in the hand traps by summoning OV draws nib desires Banish 10, draws area 0, Mystic Mind, banishes Hornet, 2 Ray, Rose, and the other Afterburners. Normal out Ray, activate area 0, um, area 0 Ray I'm assuming, brings out Hayate, and then adds back Shark Cannon. Battle phase, tack for 15. He's going to take it. And then sends Widow. Main phase 2. Link in the Kagari. Kagari, add back that Widow. Gets rid of the Kagari for Shiz. Set Widow, set Shark. End phase, Shiz, add multi roll. Yeah, this is, uh, it's not looking good for Aaron. He's gonna draw Panker Tops. Special Panker Tops. Um, then Normal Summon OV. He's gonna Widow on the OV Raptor effect. He's gonna Judgment Negate. And then he's going to add Misk. Pinker Tops, try to shorn Shark. He's going to chain Shark. Oh. Wait, is he not chaining Shark? I feel like you do it just to banish Pinker Tops for sure. Yeah, he did. Uh, and then he's going to drop Misk. Misk effect. Bring out Arch. Arch, destroy baby. Add pill. Baby effect. Bring out Misk. And then go on the Link Kribo. Then Secure Garden. And then Overlay for Dalka. 
activate pill, banish two, bring out conductor. So this definitely isn't a game. It's gonna go battle phase, conductor beat over, and then activate ray, dulk and negate, and then 23 and 1000. Um, he can only special summon this during the main phase. Yeah, a little bit of a misplay if you planned on summoning that. I mean, it wasn't going to be game either way. And then he's going to try dropping Nib, Dolka effect, Chain Veiler. So now he's going to wipe everything. And then give him a token. He has area zero, to, area zero to try to get rid of Nib, multi roll to get rid of Nib, or multi roll get rid of area zero to bring out Ray, go into Zeki, draws desires, area zero on Nib, misses off of that. Uh, then activates multi roll. Multi roll, get rid of area zero. Bring out rows. So the only card that he doesn't know is the set card. And it could be pretty good right here. Punishment on the rows. Yeah, that's going to suck because he has no more ray. She has one engraved and two banished. And he's also going to send elder. Elder Pop multi roll. Activates desires. He needs a good draw for this or he loses. Or he doesn't lose right away, but. I mean, he has Misk for four. And he can't crash in or he dies. Draws desires and crow. Discard Crow to hit the Misk, switch Nib to defense, set Shark pass, draws Judgment. So he's definitely not dead. Set Judgment, beat over Nib. And then pass his turn, draws Ice Dragon's Prison. Afterburners pop the token, he's going to flip Judgment. Activate Mystic Mine, set Ice Dragon's Prison, then pass turn, draws Lost World. It's going to be another Mystic Mine thing. I mean, he only has four cards in deck. He can't really hold this off for a while. Draws Cosmic. Activate Ice Dragon's Prison and Shark Cannon. Bringing out Baby and Dalka. So then he could go into Hida. And then Hida bring out Dalka. And then go into Selene. And then Selene effect, bring out Valor, go into access code. And then use the effect. Effect to pop the token, cosmic the mystic mine, and then that's game. Well, that was the interesting way to finish it off with the cosmic actually being good versus Dino, because got rid of mystic mine for game. Um, I don't know that. It felt like he was playing like the Dino player was playing like very slow with his cards trying to play around everything which I don't disagree with cuz it's hard for striker to just kill if you don't have anything um I don't know it just it, it felt like the wrong way to play it but ended up not doing that bad almost catching the dub but Nib Valor being a very strong combo but that's going to be it for the video uh, there's going to be a lot more LCS matches coming, uh, like a lot more. Um, if you guys have any replays from them, send them in. Uh, right now, uh, it's not even day two yet, and I want to say I have like 15 replays just from the LCS. So, 
you guys already know I'm gonna double upload at least for the next like week and a half just uploading LCS matches but that's gonna be it for the video like comment and subscribe the DB grinder signing off peace